What's happening, Titans fans? So today the Tennessee Titans officially hired an offensive coordinator and a defensive coordinator. I've mixed emotions about one, and I have very strong emotions about the other, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. So first of all, our offensive coordinator hire is Todd Downings. Originally, he was our Titans coach, which, you know, Arthur Smith was our Titans coach, and obviously we had a really good offense two years in a row under Arthur Smith. Also, I think our Titans performed pretty well. Janu Smith didn't get as much production as we thought he would, but that's largely because he had to do a whole lot of chip blocks and things like that after Taylor Lewan got uh, knocked out for season due to the tear in his ACL. So, our tight end play was still pretty good. Jeff Swain was solid. Anthony Ferkser, not good after the catch, but he was running his routes and he was uh, getting his Ferksering in, as Jim Wyatt would call it. Also, um, Michael Pruitt, per P, uh, Pro Football Focus, always ranked him really high on all his rankings. I think he's mainly a... Uh, a decoy on pass plays or a pass protector or run blocker, he was still had a really good role and played really well for us under Todd Downing. I Part of me says I would have really liked us to go after some other person, somebody who's maybe a little well-known. Like maybe even at, offer the Chiefs offensive coordinator. Kind of the same way we did with Matt LaFleur. Matt LaFleur was already offensive coordinator but he wasn't calling the plays because he was working with Sean McVay with the Rams. So we took him over, said you can be our offensive coordinator, but we'll let you call the plays. So he, he jumped ship and did that, and obviously a year later he got hired head coach. So maybe the same thing would happen if we uh, went after the Kansas City Chiefs offensive coordinator because I think Andy Reid does the play calling down there. But we didn't do that. There were some other names that you know kind of came up who were unproven, but they were young and had a good future probably ahead, but they would be flyers, they'd be chances we'd be taken. I would have liked to see some of that. And if in, in-house hires, I probably would have preferred Pat O'Hara, our, off, our uh, quarterback's coach, because let's be honest, Ryan Tannehill just had his best couple years of his entire career with the Titans. And, you know, Sean O'Hara works with him. I'm sorry, Pat O'Hara works with him on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I would have liked to see that, but we want Todd Downing. I'm not completely upset about this. Now, like if we had gone out, a lot of people were saying Keith Carter, our offensive line coach, would have been someone we could have gone to. I'm not sure, I'm not really feeling that one too much. A lot of people were saying, well, actually I don't think anybody said anything about a wide receiver coach. We've had nothing but either failed or no name wide receiver coaches our entire uh, Titans existence as far as I can remember but uh, Todd Downing he has a year of, as offensive coordinator under his belt um, he was the at that point the Oakland Raiders offensive coordinator in 2017 and they had a pretty bad offense but that was the year after Derek Carr broke his leg which he had a huge regression afterwards that was when they had Marshawn Lynch as the running back who was very 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 old shouldn't have even still been playing um at wide receiver they had amari cooper who amari cooper's hit and miss but he had a miss year that year and they had uh michael crabtree but he was also at closer to the end of his career so he had a bad offense but i'm not sure how much to blame on him how much this is on the personnel or both or i don't know but he's our guy going forward he's only 40 so and he's not really ever gotten a real chance to be an offensive coordinator, so maybe, just maybe, he will be an all right coordinator. I'm hopeful. I wasn't excited about Arthur Smith, but obviously that worked out well. <laughs> Defense. I love that Vrabel realized he made a mistake by not having a defensive coordinator last year and that he prioritized getting a defensive coordinator in this offseason. That is good. I like that. What I do not like one little bit is Shane Bowen because in a lot of ways he was saying Shane Bowen was the one who called plays and coordinated the defense during practice. 
So, if we had one of the worst, if not the worst, Titans defense that I have ever seen watching them, and we had that defense under Shane Boeing's leadership, why did we give him the reins to our defense? It confuses the heck out of me. It really does. The only hope we have when it comes to that is maybe Variable was given too much two cents, too much of his two cents here, there, and yonder, and uh, Shane Bowen did not feel 100% comfortable, you know, being a leader in front of his troops, perhaps. I don't know. So maybe Variable's like, all right, the defense is yours. Maybe Variable will take a little bit of a step back. Maybe, just maybe. Shane Bowen will be a little more bold. I hope. I hope. Because not only did I not like what he did last year, he's our out outside linebackers coach. Our outside linebackers have been underwhelming under him. So I didn't see him doing anything good as a position coach. I did not see him doing anything good as a semi-defensive coordinator last year. So why, of all people... Did he get the promotion? I really, 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 really don't understand it, especially when you got people like Wade Phillips who's jobless, and uh, honestly, anyone else. I would have even taken other people on our defense. Heck, bring back Kerry Coombs. I think he went back to Ohio State to be their defensive coordinator. How about he come to Tennessee to be the defensive coordinator? But at this point, it does not matter. I will hope he does well now that he's officially our defensive coordinator, but uh, he better be drawing up some real nice blitzes and schemes or something to win my respect. Because right now, I would give the offensive coordinator hire a C plus. I'd give the defensive coordinator a D minus. I don't think you can just say F to start off, but D minus. Maybe D if I'm feeling generous. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I guess this is, does it until next time. Peace out and all that jazz.